Okay, so what are these machines really doing? Let's go back to the 2 1 machine. Now I set this gain up so the dots in the rightmost box are always worth 1. That's just how I set these things up. But whenever there are two dots in one box, so it's now worth two ones, that's two, that's equivalent to one dot here. So two of these is worth one of those, which tells me this dot better be worth two. Two ones is two. Uh, going through this way, two twos, I guess, would explode and would be worth one dot over here. So one dot over here is worth two, the twos must be worth four. Two of these guys makes one of those, there must be eight. Two eights, dot 16 make, the next box over will be worth 16, and so on. And to check ourselves, we said 5 was 1, 0, 1. So if I did 1 dot, 0 dots, 1 dot, I got 1, 4, 1, 1. I know it's 5. In fact, if you worked it out, we said that 13, if you did the last lesson, I didn't do it actually, I think is 1, 1, 0, 1. Uh, let's check. 1, 1, 0, 1. Is that 13? 1, 8, 1, 4, 1, 1. Yep, that's up to 13. Great! So that's what a 2 1 machine is doing. Dots are worth the powers of 2. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64 as we go to the left. So tell me about a 3 1 machine. Now set things up so the dots in the rightmost box are always worth 1, but 3 of these guys is worth 1 of those. So 3 1s makes 1 of these, this better be worth 3. And 3 of these, dot 1 of these make. So this guy better be worth 3 3s. 9. Three nines will make one of these. This better be 27, 81, 243, and so on. And as a check, we said that five had code one, two. So five had code one dot and two dots. Is that right? One, three, and two ones does indeed make five. And if you worked out last time, I think the code for 13 is one, two, zero. So I'm not sure, I can just always check it. So let's try, let's put in the code one, two, zero, one dot, two dots, zero dots. Let's check. Is that 13? One of these is nine. Two of those is six. Whoops, so wrong. <laughs> That's 15. Then maybe, haha. -ha. Let's try one, one, one. Okay, I'm very human. I love it. One, one, one. Now I can see that really is 13. Silly me. One, nine, one, three, and one, one does indeed up to 13. So the code for 13 is one, one, one in this three, one machine. And of course, this guy is a surprise that the curve for 273 was 273. Not really. These guys are always worth one. 10 of these dots makes one of those. That better be worth 10. 10 of these is worth one of those. That'd be worth 100. 10 of these makes one of those. These must be 10 hundreds. So that's called 1,000, 10,000, and so on. So when I put in 273 dots, I should indeed get two hundreds, boom, seven tens, boom, and three ones. So there it is. What these machines are really doing is what's called base arithmetic. This is base 10. People have a fancy name for this. They call this base 2, binary. They call this base 3. Is that ternary, trinary? I don't know, some word. But there it is, 10. Uh, we're basically doing base arithmetic, writing numbers in terms of powers of 10, or powers of 3, or powers of 2. If I did a 4-1 machine, I guess powers of 4, or a 7-1 machine, powers of 7. Now, this guy is very familiar to us. In fact, we like to do all our arithmetic in a 10-1 machine. That's what we humans have settled upon for some reason. In fact, what reason? Why do we have such a predilection for the number 10, us humans? Well, it's really this guy. That we're so used to counting the numbers 10 because of our biology, we see 10 fingers all the time, so we naturally associate powers of 10, the number 10, and powers of 10 with counting. So that's why us humans like to work in a 10-1 machine all the time. So in this course, we'll, keep, we'll do some arithmetic in, in the 10-1 machine in the following lessons, and then we'll get wild and crazy and see that actually everything we do in there applies to a whole level of deep mathematics, but, but we'll play with a 10-1 machine. Though I should point out, not every culture went with a base 10 for the arithmetic. Some cultures went base 20. And why base 20? Well, you have to think fingers and toes, you can't see my toes. So some, some, West, some cultures actually worked on base, or on 20 digits in our body, say base 20. In fact, we have vestiges of base 20 still in our Western culture. For example, I'm not American, but I'm going to ask, how does the Gettysburg Address begin? Well, four score and seven years ago. And the question is, what's the score? The score is 20 years. Now, I don't speak French, but if you looked up how to say 87 in French, was that quatre uh, vingt set or something, I, don't, I really can't don't speak French, but translate that literally, and in that language they say four twenties and seven for the number 87. So there's a vestige of base 20.
Anyhow, anyhow, but we in our culture here, we are so obsessed with base 10, we'll stick with it. So in the, the next couple of lessons, let's do all the grade school arithmetic in one quick hit, understanding base 10 in a very unusual way. Of course, I'm going to do it in the tangent way. All right, that's the next lesson. So read the text that goes with this uh, video that's under the video on the screen. Look at the companion guide for all the solutions, and you'll be set and hours and hours of true fun to be had with 10-1 machines and getting wild. All right, more next.